gas station food. What do you think of when you think about gas station food? Sketchy hot dogs. Sketchy hot dogs, junk food, right? Yeah. Well, today, foodies, we are doing something a little bit different. We are checking out three different gas stations, and we're gonna go see what they have to offer. I'm excited because I've never had gas station food before. That's right, <laughs> she's never had gas station food, so this is a first for her. All right, so where do you think we're going first? I have to like think of names of gas stations. Um, mo mobile? 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 Mobile. Mobile? What's it called? <laughs> I think this proves that she's never eaten gas station food at all. <laughs> well, wait, can I guess again? Yeah. Wawa? Wawa. Okay. We're going to Wawa. Um, they had like Wawas all over New Jersey where I'm, where I'm from. So, and they always, I don't know, they just always like look clean and nice. I didn't really associate it with like gas station food. And Wawa sandwiches are like the thing. I'm from the West and I've never heard of Wawa until I moved here. And when you talk about gas station food, it just seems like everybody was like, Wawa, Wawa. Publix is to Florida what Wawa is to like Northeast, like United States. Because I can't include Florida because Florida just like got like Wawa recently. We're now at Wawa and guess what we're gonna be eating, Erica? Sandwiches. No, mac and cheese. Okay. So I'm down. I posted something on uh, our Instagram account asking people what food would they recommend if we went to different gas stations, and one girl ended up saying you got to get the mac and cheese. So we're gonna get the mac and cheese. Okay. I'm, I didn't think that. <laughs> Even though I will say this four dollar shorty hubby marinara looks so good. Now I like it. It looks good. I could use a little bit more bacon, but I'm into it. Really. Yeah, I love, I love bacon. Feel bacon. I'm a bacon lover. Alright. Mm. I like it. It's good. It's fresh. It tastes fresh. It's warm. I mean, it's not warm. It's hot. When the bacon think, is nice. When you think gas station food, does this no. come to mind? No, it doesn't. This, is, this actually isn't what comes to mind at all. Where would you say you could possibly get this if not a gas station? This makes me think of Panera. All right, so as we know, this wasn't suggested, but that picture just looked so appetizing. So of course I had to get myself a little meatball sub. On initial reaction, I would say it doesn't quite look as appetizing as the photo. Um, I probably would have wanted to order extra marinara sauce, maybe have provolone cheese, but you know, it could still be really good. So let's, let's go ahead and try it. The fact that it doesn't have extra marinara, it's still really, really juicy and not dry at all. That was my fear. I was worried that the meatballs might be a little dry. They're not. This is actually, this is a pretty good meatball sauce. So this next place is described as a hidden gem that has excellent sandwiches, soups, and salads. Someone said that they have the best Cuban sandwich in town. And it's a gas station? It's a gas station. I'm really trying to think of kangaroo. kangaroo. Okay, um, gate? I'm thinking all these gas stations. Uh, give up. Yeah, give up. <laughs> the next place we're hitting up is Daily's Dash out oh! in San Marco. Smells amazing. It's super hot. And let's see if I can open this. <laughs> Overall, it looks pretty good. It looks legit. Yeah, it looks like a legit Cuban sandwich. Right, let's see if this is the best Cuban sandwich you've ever had. I lived in Miami for like a long time. And Cuban sandwich is like a thing here. I would say this is like pretty close to like what I would get in Miami. It's not like, I'm not gonna say it's like an authentic Cuban sandwich, but the, com the components are there and it's pretty good. I give it like eight out of 10. It's all juicy. Uh. So I've had a few bites and the spice, it's lingering on the lips. Honestly, like who would have expected getting a delicious 
Cuban sandwich at a gas station. So we're gonna hit up our final gas station, and like the others, where do you think we're going? Seriously, like, Gate! Gate. <laughs> we're ah! going to Gate. Yes! We're getting something that you can get at every single Gate gas station. But there was somebody on Yelp who ended up saying that it is the place where you could get the best jungle. Tamales in town. Tamales? Tamales. Okay, let's go. that this is the best tamale I've ever had. Um, it's definitely good, definitely great for being on the go. Sounds good. But overall, like these tamales are not too bad. They're good for on the go. Good for on the go, the best. Uh, but they're still good. I, I'm with you, maybe six, seven out of 10. Yeah, six, seven. So gas station food, what do you think? You know what? It exceeded my expectations. It was yeah, I better was, than what I thought. I was pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, out of all out of all three, what would you say was your favorite? The Cuban sandwich. Cuban That's sandwich. That's actually my favorite. The mustard, I love like and I'm not like a mustard like fanatic. So it's not like I know my mustards. But that was like a really it just had an interesting like spice to it. On that note, the Cuban sandwich was also my favorite as well out of all three. We'd vote the Cuban sandwich from Daily's Dash was the best. Yep. 10 out of 10, recommend. 10 out of 10, uh, definitely recommend. Uh, don't hate us, Wawa lovers. Do you have a restaurant you'd like us to check out? Tell us. Use the hashtag First Coast Foodies. And don't forget to follow our social media pages.